Hi, I'm Jake Rader, and I'm a student at Cabrini University's Intro to Mass Communication course. In our class, we are learning how to be a critical consumer of news and information, as well as be a responsible producer of media. So, what does that mean? And I'll get into all this. Our class courses consisted of learning about social identities. So what are social identities? Well, it's how we identify ourselves. So for example, in high school, I played sports. I was considered a jock. And myself being a jock, I might have a negative view of people who are, let's say, band kids or in the choir, and they might have a negative view of us. It's essentially who you are as a person and how you fit into that social group. Now, I never really thought about it. I mean, this has really made me realize that back when I was in high school, that there was a social pyramid. And essentially, you think highly of yourself because you deem yourself to be in a cooler social status than somebody else. This isn't just high school. This is the world, guys. This goes on everywhere. Take, for example, let's say you're working on Wall Street. You're making $100 million a year. Pfft. I, I wish I was doing that, but let's say let's say you're working on Wall Street, right? And you're making $100 million a year, right? You might view the person on the street begging for money. You might view them as lower than you because they are not in the position that you are in, but they might view you as greedy. So it just depends on how you view yourself and how you view the world around you. So this social, it's, so in terms of perceptions, I mean, Look, my dad always told me perception is reality, but in terms of social identities, it's just not a fact. Like you might perceive that like Jewish people are greedy or you might perceive that Asian people are good at math. When in reality, these are all negative stereotypes that have been perpetuated for years and years and years. And we get in this cycle of judgment and this cycle of not being aware that these thoughts can hurt and these actions can hurt. So... This class has really taught me to look at the media with the glass half full because the, the days of Woodward and Bernstein, the two legendary reporters of the Washington Post, those days are over. We are in a media landscape where all the media cares about is clicks and getting your attention. When in reality, they don't really care about the facts. And quite frankly, it's really sad. So what I'm gonna learn moving forward is to look at media with a glass half full, like I said, and the fact that I need to look at multiple news sources to find something that is accurate is horrible. It should just be, here are the facts, here are the facts, no strings attached, but you're getting political agendas and you're getting biased re reporting nowadays, when in reality, nobody cares about informing the public of positive facts. They, they just want that dollar. So where do we go from here? I mean, it's really sad and it's really scary that we have a political and social climate where people just want to add fuel to the fire and pit us against each other. And I hope that we can get back to the days where people only care about giving the facts and they don't care about pushing their agenda onto you. Because what we have in the media today is essentially agendas being pushed onto us, especially through social media. You go on you go on Twitter, you go on Instagram, you go on Facebook, you go on TikTok. It's all people trying to push their views onto you and push thoughts onto you. We need to look at everything as independent thinkers and make decisions for ourselves. And this class has really taught me that you need you, you cannot take everything at face value and moving forward, I will definitely look at the media as I know this sounds really bad, but I'm going to look at the media, in particular social media, where we get all this news from as just not not really a positive. You know, I shouldn't have to go to four or five news sources to find out what really happened in, an, in like what was really to find out what really happened in a political event. Um, yeah, I mean, but. This class has kind of taught me that perception is not reality, and I will take the lessons that I've learned moving forward for the rest of my life. Um, thank you guys for listening, and um, I hope I could inform you guys today. Thanks.